Uh, I don't know what I've gotten myself into. <laughs> What is up, Turtle Squad? Welcome back to Black Turtle Garage. So today is is gonna be a different <laughs> video. Um, so if you've been following me, you know that I host, uh, I co-host a podcast called the RC Hangout, uh, and that's the link down below. Um, so I do co-host that podcast uh, with three, four of my uh, my best friends in the RC world and just in life. Uh, four of my best friends, and today was a really interesting interesting show so during our live stream um and as i'm saying this right so it's 3:52 right now and this was today at like 11 a.m so i've been like moving because i'm like let's get this done this is going to be a good idea but today i don't even know how this came about but we ended up entering ourselves into our own build off so this isn't a build off to see who can build the prettiest car um we were kind of talking about all the all the mistakes that we made coming into the hobby and we're talking 110 millimeter shocks 2.2 wheels on our uh on our scx 10s like things like that that we just wish we had a time machine to go back and say dude what are you doing but we thought that would make a great build off who can build the funkiest frankenstein ugly car out of all of us and it, it kind of snowballed into an hours long just explosion of ideas and at the end of it we basically ended up coming to the conclusion that this was going to be a really fun time but we had to have a reason we had to have something as always you know we want to do we don't want to just do stuff we want to have a purpose and you know as you guys know i am a part of asd crawlers and those are the guys that i do the podcast with and so above all we want to make sure that we're always raising funds and awareness for the cause and so we are going to make these and we'll see how this goes because i don't know that anybody's gonna want to buy these but we're gonna make a video series of it at the end we're gonna have a competition and after that we're gonna auction off these cars so they could bring in ten dollars or you know hopefully like a thousand dollars i doubt it but we're probably gonna be somewhere you know maybe a couple hundred bucks per rig and uh we're gonna give all that money to uh one of the foundations that asd crawlers uh supports throughout the year so with that being said, uh, when it when we kind of got down to it, we figured there'd be a couple rules, and this isn't even set in stone. We haven't fully talked about it. Brandon doesn't even know uh, that, that he's entered in this competition, but but we're we're just going with it. Um, I jumped right on it. I was like, dude, this is gonna be the best thing ever. So uh, I went and I've been scouring parts, and I have probably ninety percent of the truck ready, but. Now comes the hard part, which is going to be figuring out what we're going to do with uh, with the parts, how we're going to make them work, because I'm going nuts. Like, I'm going to go ahead and have different ideas and different things that I want to uh, that I want to do with this car, like just crazy ideas that I would never build a car. You know, this is kind of my you know, you kind of always have to be within the box. I'm going outside of the box. I'm breaking down the box and turning, setting it on fire. That's how crazy I'm going to try and go with this build. Um, I already have, like I said, most of it done, but some rules. Um, we put a budget, so we can't go more than $100. And that's what these video series are going to be for, is me documenting all the parts I get, um, all the things that I've... Uh, that I buy uh, and kind of a little bit of the build process. I'm not a big fan of shooting the build process, but I am gonna try to document as much as possible for you guys. And uh, it starts kinda today. So we can have donations, that doesn't count towards the budget, but if we buy any parts, transmissions, motors, whatever we buy, uh, if it's going to the build, uh, we're gonna have to go ahead and add it to our tab. So uh, that being said, this car has to be RTR, so except for the battery. Obviously, you know, we want to be safe. We're going to use good batteries. So as always, Gen Zace batteries is going to be the ones that I go with. So other than that, I mean, I already have everything I need. But every other than that, this car has to be ready to go. Radio, uh, receiver, motor, ESC, servo, uh, obviously four wheels and tires. This is a crawler. Um, and what, what our goal is, and we haven't, like I said, we haven't finalized the details. But our goal is to actually go to Proline by the Fire, which is set to in May, uh, mid-May, 
uh, have a maybe a 10 gate course see if we can get somebody to come and judge it for us we're, we're still working all those details out but we're gonna kind of have these different categories and we're gonna have you know who can build the ugliest who can build this and that who gets the best score on the course the, the possibilities are just endless here and there's so much that we're gonna do uh and not enough to really do it in one video. So I'm just giving you guys the introduction. We're gonna go on this build. Um, I'm gonna need your guys' help. I, I don't know what to name this car. And as we go, I'm gonna go ahead and look at the comments and the best name for this car is gonna win. Um, and we'll see, maybe I'll send you some, you know, some Black Turtle sticker packs, uh, maybe some 3D printed parts just uh, for participating. So make sure you guys comment down below what it is that you think I should name this car. Uh, but first up, you know, I was kind of searching through tires and, and, and wheels and, and chassis. Uh, and uh, one of our listeners, who's also a good friend of mine here locally, his name is Sean Speedwell Williams, stepped up and said, dude, I have parts for days that you can come and just kind of pick out. And I was like, dude, I will take whatever you have because uh, the less amount of money, the better. I think that might even be one of the categories is who spends the le least amount of money. Uh, so he's gave, look, so I got one box just full of stuff we've got some miscellaneous things there uh it looks like i'm good on shocks and rod ends possibly links i've got quite a bit of chassis to choose from i think i might just go with the og sex 10 rails uh, but we do have some flat plate chassis rails from Nomad RC, I want to say, which these are some pretty nice rails. So we'll see um, a whole bunch of like just miscellaneous parts again. Got a roof rack, some body posts, uh, battery boxes, a bumper with a winch. There's a little bit of everything in there. Let's see. Uh, we got another box here. I see a, a, a acrylic battery tray we've got oh shock towers braces some axles um he did say he's like hey bro i think there's 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 a transmission in there uh so we might be good on transmissions um there's a whole lot of just mismatched parts just like random metal parts so there's a lot and this is this is very intriguing i don't know if this is what i'm gonna do but we do have a really short wheelbase uh 3d printed chassis again from nomad rc uh they're out of northern california as well and it's really short wheelbase and literally as I'm guys, this is like making my mind go crazy as I'm sitting here. Give me one second. I, I literally, I wasn't going to do this, use this chassis, but now that might be what we have to do here, guys. I might have to use this chassis because I think I just figured out my build. So we're going to go ahead and build this. Um, one of the coolest parts, and there's so much stuff in here that I don't even know. We've got links. There's so much stuff in here that I already lost the piece de resistance. But there's a whole bunch of axles. <laughs> so somewhere in here, look, there's like brand new parts shock towers ah here we go this is probably going to be the build that i go off of um and he found these and i think we're gonna go with some rc four wheel drive arb axles i don't even know what these come off of but these might be the way to go so i think that's what we're gonna do we're gonna build these up um this might even end up being a nice crawler depending on how things go um but it's just it's just it's it's getting out of control um this is all your guys's fault for encouraging us but i really hope that you guys stay tuned um and just really tell us what you guys think 
Is this going to be fun? Is this going to be uh, a complete bust? Um, is this something that you would be interested in joining in on the fun? You can tell me all of that down below. Make sure you guys uh, go on Facebook, the RC Hangout on Facebook. I like the page. That's where we're going to be posting a lot of these updates. So you can see my builds. You can see Oscar, Brandon, Jeff. Um, and I'm not sure if Bobby's going to join, but you can see whoever's in the build off. We're going to post all the links there. Uh, to congregate to kind of keep everything together so you guys can keep track of everything um, And at the end we're gonna go ahead and go live and, and if you want to keep up with the show I'm sure we'll have a small segment uh, On the show each week to kind of update where we are in the process. So stay tuned go ahead and go there That's pretty much it for this one guys make sure you guys like share and subscribe remember this is for charity So if it's something that interests you, please, please, please go to facebook.com uh, and Go to the RC Hangouts group and the RC Hangouts page. All of those links will be down below. That's really it. That's all I can really say, guys. Let's let's get it. Let's let's get into it. See you in the next one. Peace.